December the 7th, 2019. Guys, uh, I hope everyone's enjoying this December and uh, the cooler weather. Now, we've had some very cold weather coming through November and getting into December, which again, today's the 7th. It's been a kind of a mile when, um, here in the southeast. Now, that concerns me because when it starts to change in the end of December and January, we could see some very cold weather, and we know it's grand solar minimum. Guys, next week, uh, again, today's the 7th, but next week's going to be very important. We're going to be watching a lot of things going on in the swamp. Reports coming out uh, from both sides. Tremendous amount of information back and forth. We're going to keep an eye on that. But um, I want you to look up in this week, this upcoming week, and keep an eye on the stars because on December the 13th and the 14th, the Gemini Meteor Shower, which is very famous because the meteors are so bright, but they're going to be visible for the next few days coming up into that peak point. And we got to very bright moon here in the southeast tonight again 8:56 p.m. central 48 degrees outside and you really can't complain about that there's not much wind it's we've had a little rain some fog but it's not bad and again the um, we got to watch for January and February guys because of grand solar minimum but the geminides are considered one of the best meteor showers every year because the individual meteors are bright, and they come fast and furious. We're, I'm looking at one of the articles from Spacecop.com. It says, this year, because of the moonlight, around 20 to 30 may be visible per hour. If you look outside now and your skies are clear, you can see a very bright moon. It says, it won't be a total washout because the Geminites have a lot of fireballs in them, it says, which may be visible despite the moon the best time to watch for the geminides is about 2 a.m in in your local time the gemini meteor shower is nearly 200 years old according to known records the first recorded observation was in 1833 from a river boat on the mississippi river and is still going strong in fact it's growing stronger that's because jupiter's gravity has tugged the stream of the particles from the shower source the asteroid, this is a very important, 32 Phaethean, closer to the Earth over the centuries. Think about this. They're saying each year the Geminites become brighter. They're becoming closer. And you've got the Sun and you've got Jupiter. These are binary twins. Most solar systems have binary stars or binary twins. And so do we. Jupiter and the Sun. It, Jupiter is a gas giant. It just, it's called a failed gas giant because it never ignited. And so, if you have a comet or you have asteroids or a meteor shower that slings around the sun and goes back out towards Jupiter, that gravity in itself, Jupiter's slingshot gravity back towards the inner solar system has an effect on the path. And guys, it's just something to think about because... We're watching a lot of things, but just coming up in the next five days will be the peak. But if you've got clear skies, and again, around 2 a.m. your time, check this out. Now, if you go to space.com, this is a link to Sky and Telescope, and it's showing a chart. It says December the 13th, around 9 p.m. Not bad. Looking east, that's where the sun comes up. You've got the radiant coming out of Gemini. Okay, to the lop, top left, you've got Orion. To the right, uh, you've got uh, Procyon and Cirrus to your bottom right. But again, looking east, 9 p.m. local time, you're going to start seeing these Gemini meteors coming from this direction. Again, they're sim they don't come from the constellation Gemini. They appear to come from that. But this is Phaethion, and it's called the Rock Comet. The meteors tend to peak around 2 a.m., your local time, wherever you are observing from, but can be seen as early, again, going back to 9 to 10 p.m. The Geminids, as their name implies, appear to emanate from the bright constellation Gemini, also known as the Twins. 
to find Gemini in the northern hemisphere, which we are at. Look into the southwestern sky for the constellation Orion, which is easy to spot by the three stars in the hunter's belt. Then look just up and to the left. You're going back now to the east of Orion to see Gemini, high in the southwestern sky. In the southern hemisphere, Gemini appears to be to the lower right of Orion, and both will hang into the northwestern sky. And this is uh, for folks all across this side of the planet. Although the meteors will appear to stream from Gemini, they can appear all across the sky. For best results, you should look slightly away from Gemini so that you can see the meteors with longer tails as they streak by. Start uh, Staring directly at Gemini will just show you the meteors that don't travel very far. In other words, look away. You understand what they're talking about and use your peripheral vision to catch this. But uh, guys, each year they're becoming brighter, stronger, more intense because of the effect of Jupiter's gravity. Again, the Geminids are associated with the near-Earth object 3200 Phaethon, an asteroid that may have undergone a collision with another object in the distant past to produce the stream of particles that Earth runs into, creating this meteor shower. The asteroid orbits the sun every 1.4 years and occasionally comes close to the Earth at a safe distance and also passes very close to the sun inside of Mercury's orbit and only 0.15 astronomical units from the sun. Guys, 1 AU is 93.1 million miles and that's the average distance between the Earth and the sun. Rocks in space that are about to collide with Earth's atmosphere are called meteoroids. Those that streak through the atmosphere are called meteors, and if they reach the ground, which won't happen with the Geminids, as the particles are too small to survive the trip, the rocks are called meteorites. Now remember, each year we're getting closer into the denser path of the Geminids, once again, because they're looping around the sun, shoot, uh, slingshotting out, and now Jupiter's taken over that gravitational force. They're saying Phaethon, and you're looking at the chart here as it comes between Earth and Mercury every 1.4 years. That's the, um, the actual orbit of the asteroid, or what many call the rock coming again. But the debris trail is there all the time as we orbit the sun. It says, though it's an asteroid, its elongated path is reminiscent of comets. The Gemini meteor shower comes every year when Earth passes through this debris left along the asteroid's path. Again, that's what you're looking at. So now um, you can see it, guys. It, really, it starts around 9 a.m., goes and it peaks around 2 a.m., and the timing of it will be the 12th and the 13th of this month. We'll be watching a lot. You've got a lot of reports coming out uh, next month, I mean next week in the swamp. So it's just something else to pay attention to, guys. Remember, each year we get closer to the debris center of Phaethion, the rock comet, and that's why they say they are becoming more intense each year. So it's could be a very interesting time next week. It's a heads up. Be safe.